Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here I am with, well, my Hemlock and Oak Planner. And I'm debating whether to do both of these at the same time. And I think I will. So I'm going to be doing my monthly setup in my Hemlock and Oak Planner, as well as my classic Happy Planner Horizontal that I use as a journal. So these are going to be two very different um, planner spreads because one with the Hemlock and Oak, you've got the space to plan and the self-care as well as the monthly spread, which I've already dated. And then in the, ooh, where is it? The Classic Horizontal. I use this as a gratitude journal, so completely different. But I do want to try and make the most of what's left in this tranquility kit. There's not a lot, so I don't know what I'm going to do. There's a lot, but then I'm probably going to bring in some sophisticated florals because the color scheme is very similar. And of course, Tombow. So I'm going to show you guys. This is probably going to be a bit of a two, three part video. And I will show you how I decorated this as well as this. Let's get started. So the Hemlock and Oak is a very different type of planner for me. So what I want to do is, let's just straighten my table out first. What I want to do is I'm going to do the monthly spread first and show you how I'm going to use this. And then I'm going to do some decoration in here. And this one I'll fill out. This part I'll probably fill out, well now. And then this, I will try and add pictures to it as the month goes on. And then this will be used for planning my Instagram and YouTube um, and pre, you know, any events that I need to pre-plan as well as tracking my habits down this side. So it's really different use of this space for me because if you remember from my mini dashboard monthly spreads, I was using it as a budget planner, but I wasn't really using it if you know what I mean. So I want to make use of this space the most. So I'm going to decorate this first. I'm going to place something under here so it's easier for me to decorate. My art shirt. Nope, too high. Uh, I had to use like, the case for my Tombos for this. And that'll be the perfect height. Okay, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is write the month up here with the Tombow Dual Brush Pen 772. And I'm going to add shadow to it. I think shadow for me just adds so last couple of days. I just felt like watching Twilight. I don't know. Okay. So then in this part, I'm actually going to do some lettering of a quote. I'm going to use the sticker from here, Happy Life. I'm going to probably just write a happy life and then down here write tranquility. Uh, okay. So before I do that, I'm going to Exactly the way I want it to, but make it work. All right, I like it now. So adding the shadow. totally off screen. Sorry guys. Now what I'm going to add here is one of the stickers from this kit. Which one? Which one? I'm going to take this one. And it is it going to fit perfectly in the squares? Not necessarily, but make do with what we can. It's seriously like, Karina, do you ever put anything down straight? No. Okay. Now, I do love the washi, but I don't like having to have to peel it. That's one of my things here, is that I'm not a big fan of the peeling. And then I'm going to grab one of the 
Oh, you guys can hear my kids in the background. One of these, I think. Or I like this and how it's all gonna look together. Oh, yes, I love the look of that. Now I wanna add something up here, but before I do, I'm going to go ahead and fill out the habit tracker that I'm gonna have on this side. I'm gonna zoom out. I said I would zoom out, but I'm really zooming in. So what I'm gonna place down here is a habit tracker because with my fitness planner, I was tracking every week, but here I wanna keep track of it in the month, and I think that's just gonna look really, really, really pretty. So I'm gonna start writing that in here. So it'll be the habits that I keep, such as, uh, what was it? My <laughs> uh, nighttime routine. And then uh, 12,000 steps a day and 2,000 calories burned per day and 125 grams of protein per day, which I'm really struggling with and I'm missing one. I know I had, uh, and then I wanted to read 10 pages a day. There's still one that I'm missing. Oh, two liters of water per day and read at least 10 pages per day. So then down here, what I'm gonna do with my ruler is just outline this and then down the side here as well and I already know how much so it's going to take it all the way from 1 to 30 so I'm just going to go ahead and number that all right and so then for each day that I actually get this I don't know if I'm going to cross it out or I'm gonna use my Tombows. I'm gonna have to pick six different colors here or use all three, uh, use all three over and over again and then just make dots to see how far I've come. I actually really like that and I think it's gonna look so nice every month. So what I'm gonna do to add a little bit of decoration up at the top here is take my washi. Today is not so bad, it's Saturday. It's not too, too bad. But Friday it was just whoop, painful. And then I'm gonna take one of these beautiful decor and I'm gonna take the book and place that just right here. Oh, I love that. Okay, so then now I, f I really like that, like really like how that's turning out and it's simple. So then what I'm gonna do is actually start filling out this whole section. I'm gonna just speed through that, but I'm gonna basically fill out this section for, um, you know, pre-planning as well as my Instagram and YouTube. So what I'm doing here then is taking my Tombow 992 pen and cutting it across like that, making one long bar for special events or things that are coming up such as Robin's horseback riding as well as Canada Day and my sister's birthday. And then what I'll be doing on each day is taking the other two colors of Tombows and writing in, sorry if it's off screen here, but writing in IG and YouTube and then I will be going in and actually writing in the posts that I'll be making for I, IG or Instagram and the videos that I hope to plan on or upload on YouTube. And actually seeing it like this all in one month spread will be really great for visualizing when I have to film, how much I have to film and really help me plan it in advance. All right, so there is that. Now, obviously I haven't filled in all of the Instagram and YouTube posts, but I think it's really gonna help me visualize where to post. I mean, I did mark that I would be posting every day, but that's not true. I won't be posting a YouTube video every day. I won't be posting Instagram every day. And I actually think that will help me overall just get a better sense of where everything is. <sighs> all right, I'm gonna add just a little bit more washi up at the top here because I feel like it kind of needs it. And 
yeah, I actually really like the look of this and I think it's going to be very, very functional for me. I'm going to be using it for pre-planning things and mostly for social media. And then this here will be my uh, habit tracker. Now let's flip back to this page here. And this is the space to plan. Now, I don't think I'm gonna necessarily fill this out as of yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and start decorating this a little bit. I'm gonna write here that this is the month of July. I always laugh when I push down on the Tombow markers and it makes that like sound. <laughs> I'm immature. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So I'm going to place this down here. Gosh, no matter what I do, it's not going to end up being straight. So use the lines, Karina. Ah, okay, put that down with a little bit of washi. I'm gonna use this, and actually this will be really interesting. I'm going to pick like maybe my top few pictures from the month and decorate it with the pictures from the month. And I'll actually, when I do my next monthly spread in this planner, I will show you what that looks like when it's all done. Oh, if I can peel this. Oh, I love the look of that with, where is that sticker book? I have too much stuff here. So bringing in some stickers from this book I think will be really, really helpful and look really, really nice. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut this <laughs> Sorry. Uh, everything looks so nice on camera. And then outside of the view of the camera, it's like a hot mess. That looks super cute. And then I know some of you guys find it annoying when we say super cute. I need to work on other um, ways of describing, using other describing words. I'm going to take a full box from this sticker book because I think it actually goes really well with the whole theme that I'm going for. So let's take this and place this up here. Too many stickers on my hand. gosh how pretty is that and then I'm gonna need there isn't a lot of green in this and I used a green there so I'm going to maybe let's see I'm gonna use this remember sticker um, but where do I want to use it I think I'm going to Place it like this between the two. And maybe add a little bit of green. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Um, hmm. Let's see what else is in here. I can add a little bit of the green because I think the green is a really important color. I'm adding a little bit of green underneath. I'm just experimenting here, guys. The part of planning is experimenting, and I love it. And then I'll add a little bit of washi. And I'm not going to do too much to this side because I will be filling that out. Uh, oh my gosh. There we go. Those two are too close together, so I'm going to bring in the other washi, this grid washi. Love it. So much stuff. Okay. I'm going to keep this very, very simple because I'm going to add pictures in here, but I love the overall look of that. Oh, Lucy wants to come in. All right. So I'm going to put this here with a tiny 
I say tiny, but let's see what I can put in here. One of the gray or the black leaves or florals or even a pink, no, not the pink, but one of the black ones. So I'm gonna take this and cut. Oh, Lucy just came in. And I'm gonna end up covering some of the words and I hate that I'm doing that, but what milestone are you focusing on? Oh well. All right, okay, whoops. Gosh, I'm a bit of a klutz here. All right, so that is that part of the spread, and I'm actually excited to be able to fill this out in here. So here you can add your goals for this month, what personal values you wanna focus on. Do you guys hear that? That's Lucy whining. Oh, you wanna go outside. Uh, three small positive ways you can carve out time for self-care. Choose one habit you wanna solidify and track. And then this, I think it's so great because I can add pictures in here of the month. And then this is the overall um, actual monthly spread. I'm really happy with that. All right, so then let's move on to the July spread in my horizontal planner. Okay, so I'm thinking in the future I may not do these two monthly videos together because it was a lot. So I'm going to oh, catch my breath here, take this sticker, place it here. And then I'm going to see if I can grab a quote from this book. I want just to, I might have to just let her a quote on my own. And I think I actually am going to do that with my Tombow brush pen. And I'm just going to write gratitude down this side here. I'm always afraid of whether or not I just actually spelled it correctly. <laughs> That's me. Okay. Then down here, down here, I do want to add again washi. I'm all over the washi right now. I went through a stage where I was like, what is the point of washi? I don't know. And now I'm like, give me the washi. And I think before I overwhelmed myself with washi because I bought everything. Whereas now I feel like I'm very, very intentional when I buy anything. Oh, how cute. So now up here, let's see if I can find an actual, find the joy. I feel like I'm gonna make it fit. Ugh, don't go down until I'm ready for you to go down. Okay, then, oh, I still have room for this. So I'm gonna put this down here on, I'm gonna cover up the Wednesday, that's okay. And look, sticker sheet done. I love it when a sticker sheet is done. And then more washi, because that's just the way I roll. Uh, the only thing with this, washi from the washi tape shop. This grid is beautiful, but I Ta-da! Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to around this spread actually put a little bit of washi down this side as well. Actually no, not washi. I want some of these around this spread here. and spread these, whoops. Down like that, and then this one. Come on. I feel like, whoops, let's do that. Then another sticker sheet done, ooh. And then I'm going to I'll probably take some of these and work them around the spread. So let's cut these. I spent the better part of this morning. It's Saturday and I've spent most of the day so far in my office just hanging out and doing some planning. My husband is on a weekend boys trip and 
it is so hot outside, like gross hot, that I, I don't really want to subject my kids to that gross, gross heat. So we won't be going outside today. I almost want to put um, different washi with stuff. I'm just, sometimes when you're planning this gratitude spread, it, it doesn't need a lot and now I can hear my dog barking outside. I'm like trying to finish this quickly. <laughs> what is she barking at? Um, oh, I like this one. Enjoy the little moments. Then I like this. The focus on and reflect is a good one. I think I'm going to put reflect down here. And then I feel like maybe I just need something up here in the corner with a important, just like that. I don't want to fill this up too much because I do use all of this space to write down one thing I'm grateful for every day. Um, and this can actually go over where, 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 I don't want to just put something down to put something down, but I also don't want to, there we go. And then I will add a small, just today, cute. All right. That is my horizontal. Uh, monthly spread that I use for gratitude journaling. So really my two monthly spreads, these are the only monthly spreads that I decorate, but I feel like I'm gonna be very intentional and purposeful with them. So this one I will use as a gratitude journal. And then here, keeping track of my goals, uh, place pictures of memories in here. And then here it will be used to pre-plan things as well as for social media and my habit tracker. All right, but that is it for me. A longer video than normal, but I appreciate you guys sticking through this. I think this is going to be very functional for me and I cannot wait to see how it looks this next month. All right, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.